Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 16 laptop. The exact model is a Dell Inspiron 16 5620 model. The regulatory model is a T117F and that information can be found inside the BIOS or in the box or on the bottom label on the bottom of the laptop. In this video, I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can remove the storage in here that they give you the 500 gig SSD or I believe 256. You can upgrade it and what are the limits that you can have in here and what are the configuration that you can uh, it does support in this motherboard. All right. So just remember, if you upgrade the main storage in here, you're going to lose your windows and you're going to lose your files. So back up your files. And I highly recommend you to install Windows freshly installed on the new SSD. I made a really short video how to create your Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. Also made another video how to install Windows on your Dell laptop. It takes 5 to 10 seconds. And you know, 5 to 10 minutes I mean, not seconds. And it's really easy to do. You do a few Windows updates and you're set to go. If you worry about your Windows license key, don't worry is locked based on your motherboard. So as soon as you um, be sure that you have a, your Microsoft account uh, linked to your Windows. So as soon as you format, you put your Microsoft account back on the Windows, it will automatically activate on this motherboard. All right, with all that said, let's get into it. So first thing first, you wanna back up your files and turn off the computer, power it off completely. I'll put some workshop towel. And you wanna flip it upside down. And down here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws you're gonna remove, and I'll show you the, the process. First, you're gonna get a good screwdriver set. I'll recommend you guys that I fix the screwdriver set. And from this tool set, I'll be using a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools, tweezers, a few other stuff. If not, just get the basic set. And for the opening tools, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metal guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With these two on hand, you're going to get it started. All right. As I said, there's a whole bunch of screws down here. All these screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. But there is a two screws that we will not remove, and we will leave them for the last. These are the corner screws at the back by the hinges. So we want to leave these two for the last, and we're going to remove the one in the mid-back, side, and the front, and keep them in one pile. If you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and supports me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Appreciate that. All right, once we remove all the screws except these two corners, the reason is these two corner screws, they have a little metal bracket which is called a c-lock on the other side of the screw that will prevent the screw from coming out entirely the c-lock it helps you to be able to remove the separate the bottom cover from the palm rest so as soon as i start rotating this screw you're going to see a gap opening right on the back that's the c-lock pushing the cover back you see that gap opening nicely and it makes you click sounds and that's when you want to stop same thing in here so we're going to rotate and we're going to see a gap opening right there. There you go. Once we have that gap opened right in there, you might have a little less gap or more gap depending on the hooks in there. You want to grab the opening tool and you want to stick about three to four millimeter of the opening tool in the corner by this opening right there. And then you want to just twist it like this. And you want to hear those click sound. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You want to do that all the way toward the front corner and you want to do the front side don't be scared of those nice click sounds those are the clips that are getting loose the screw is doing the most of the job holding the cover in place not the hooks the hooks are for the manufacturing line before it gets to the screwing station once you did all the hooks all the sides now you're going to feel like a little tension in the middle because there's a tiny hook that holds it from the rod so what you want to do, you want to bring it up and then just yank it up really quickly and it will release this hook that holds from this rod thing right in here. So put the bottom cover to one side. 
I'll put this back in the position. Now, right away, we can see that there's a RAM battery and NVMe slot right in here. This is an SSD. But they have a little extension that give you a short one with an extension to come in here. And these are not really great quality SSDs that they have in here. I recommend you guys to grab a really good quality SSD like a Samsung 980 Pro, which are really, really durable. You can put up to two terabyte in here because it will support four terabyte, but the four terabyte SSD is the double-sided chip and it will not lay down flat. So that's why you cannot put a four terabyte. You can go up to two terabyte with no problem. I recommend you guys get 980 Pro up to two terabyte, or if you want to go a little cheaper, go at least with 970 EVO Plus. These are one of the two great SSDs for durability and reliability are really great. I'll leave the link in the video description. So I can see the SSD right here and there is no more extra space for secondary SSD or anything like that. There is no other M.2 jack um, for the Wi-Fi, but you don't want to risk that one. And there's nothing else under here, RAM, and there's no more space. Now, people really get paranoid and they're like, oh, you should disconnect the battery. To remove the SSD, you do not need to disconnect the battery. It's absolutely not necessary. But for those people that are really paranoid, I'll show you guys how to disconnect it. To disconnect the battery, what you want to do, you want to put your fingernails at the side of the jack. So you see there? And then you want to pull it back towards the battery straight. Make sure you pull it. I can't reach there. There you go. You want to pull it back straight and the battery will get disconnected. Now, very important thing that you want to do is that little gaffer tape. There you go. So I disconnected the trackpad, but the gaffer tape was over it, so I gotta put this one back under. There you go. And lock it there. All right. What you wanna do when you wanna put this uh, connector back in, make sure you always go straight in flat, don't go sideways. Otherwise you're gonna create a short and you're gonna destroy your motherboard. You wanna go straight in, all right? But again, to do the RAM or SSD upgrade, you do not need to touch this. To remove the SSD, what you wanna do, you wanna remove one screw at the back of the SSD, right in here, and put that screw to one side. Don't drop it over the motherboard if you're really flimsy and you're gonna drop the screwdriver right on top, sure, go ahead and disconnect the battery. Now you wanna lift this one about 10 degree, and then you wanna slide it to the side. There's a little thermal pad in here, which is not necessary, and then you wanna pull it back. And that's how it comes back. All right, you don't need this extension if you wanna get a good size SSD. Let's say I have, a, for example, a full size SSD. The full size SSD does not require the extension. You want to make sure the notch in here matches the notch right on inside the dim. Bring it down in a 10 degree inside there. Bring it down, make sure the screw hole matches. If the screw hole is matching, what you want to do is just simply want to screw it down and that will keep it in place. Now you can save, keep this one for the future use. And that's how you can upgrade the SSD. Again, to remove, Tiny screw, remove, slide back, bring the old SSD, slide it right inside the jack, bring it down, screw hole matches, tighten up the screw right on top. And that's how you can add. If you have disconnected the battery, plug it back in. And last thing down here would be to just grab the bottom cover, put it right on top. Make sure you do not press over the screws. Just press the corners, the front, and you want to hear those nice click sounds in the middle right in here to get that hook on the motherboard on the side. For this ones in here, all you want to do, you want to tighten up the screw. Don't go crazy tightening up, just tight up enough. And if you see any gap opening, like this one in here, you just want to pinch it and it will go to its place. Same thing on the other side. Just tighten up the screw and push the corners. And that's how you can upgrade the storage for your uh, Dell Inspiron 16 5620 model. Again, you can put up to 22 terabytes with no problem. We have upgraded this ones up to two terabytes. 
and they work perfectly fine. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to power on so you guys can see that it powers on and it works. But I do get sometimes people saying, like, no, that laptop is not working. This is a brand new laptop, so there should be no reason for me to destroy a laptop. So if you have disconnected the battery, sometimes it takes 5 to 10 seconds to boot up. Let's test it out. Now well, let's see, I do get a logo, Dell logo. Yep, there we go. And it should read the Windows file inside my SSD. And that should cover up this video.